I'm really excited about today's video. It's based on a post on Instagram that did extremely well, which is why it is January's look of the month. Tracy's going to do it in both acrylic and gel right now. All right, Trace, I'm excited that we're going to start doing this because we're going to take popular looks that have performed well. We're going to highlight them by doing demos and showing our audience how to do this look. This is something they should incorporate in the salon, correct? Absolutely. Like we talk about this, right? If, yeah. If you're, especially if you're not comfortable with artwork, this is a really simple design. Yeah. But it killed on Instagram. It killed. So apparently, yeah. people want it. People want it. So, doesn't matter that it's simple. And if you're not comfortable with art, start practicing these things and incorporating. Like this is my look of the month, or yeah. whatever. You know, these are my two looks for this month. And yeah. Absolutely. Steal our ideas. <laughs> Take them and use them. them. <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously, like take them and steal them. Like we highlight our mentors and ambassadors looks and if they do well, we want you to use them. Like inspire you to use them in the salon because they've done well. It means there's actual market demand for them. Take them, use them. Tracy, are you ready to show this in acrylic and gel? Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to show you guys this beautiful design that Nail Sensation AZ did. I love it. It's got a lot of bling, but it's really simple. We're gonna show you how to do it in acrylic and gel, so there's not gonna be any excuses. You can incorporate this art into your salon. There is a mix that I have just typically, if in salon or in the studio, that I have laying around that I use a lot because I can combine it. I can use it with liquid art. It just creates this amazing bling. And what is in here is Rockstar, Star Sand, Crushed Pearl, Diamond Dust, this kind of is a base I use all the time color. And what I love about it too is we can then add different things into it. And what we're going to add today to get that look is silver and hologram. Let's get started with the demo. Okay, so whether we're doing acrylic or we're doing gel, we're gonna start by pushing back those cuticles. Super, super important. I think we'll work on her pointer and her ring today. We'll do the rest off camera. Okay. We get asked a lot, is prep the same for acrylic and gel? The answer is yes. The prep is exactly the same. One is not healthier for the nail than the other because prep work is exactly the same. So we're gonna start with our medium grit. This is our new zebra bands, which I love. We're gonna turn on about 4,000 RPMs. Pull back that skin. She has a little acrylic still left on. Doesn't matter. Gonna, we're gonna tuck right into that corner. Of course, I've already seasoned my arbor band to make sure it's not sharp on the end. Clean up that cuticle area. Gonna follow through, remove any shine. And we are good. Let's move on to the next one. Same thing, pull back that skin. Just tuck right into that corner. Follow through and remove the shine. I'm gonna whittle down the acrylic that she has on the tip a little. Whittle, is that a, a nail term? <laughs> it is now. Okay, we're good. Let's grab our swipe, grab our clean manicure brush, make sure all those oils dust contaminants are off brushing down so we make sure we pull it out of those nail grooves next we're going to be using our protein bond I'm going to add one coat to all ten nails or all two nails that we're working on right now now even though there's some acrylic on there I just go ahead and go all the way up because she has some natural nail exposed some acrylic exposed I go through the whole thing that way I don't have to worry about it. I'm hit, making sure that I hit all the natural nail with protein bond. Again, I'm gonna go back for that second coat. And second coat. Now we know that we're not gonna get any lifting. We get a lot of comments from people that are like, those nails are gonna lift with the kind of prep work that I do. As long as you take care of that cuticle area, remove the shine from the whole surface, and protein bond twice, 
you're not gonna get lifting. We do not have to be aggressive when we're prepping. Let's do the acrylic. That way that's drying while we do the gel. So uh, we'll do acrylic on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and get the forms on. We'll just get the form on the one finger while I'm working on it. Okay, let's get our shape going. As we know, I like kind of that stiletto, almanetto look on stuff. She gets no choice in life. They're all, come work for young nails, they said. <laughs> it would be fun. Cool. Okay, we got that on. First thing I'm gonna grab is our cover pink. Even though I'm going to do a fade up top, I usually always like to do a thin layer of cover pink. The reason is when I have to remove, let's say she does a fully glitter fade all the way up to here. When I remove that, I still have my base. I can go straight to nude. I can file down to that thin layer of cover pink, add the cover pink to it and have a beautiful nude. Nail super, super quick. So I'm gonna get our thin layer. Just gonna really, really small amount. I don't wanna add bulk. Again, I'm just making a protective layer for when I go to file it off. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that mix I was showing you guys, the diamond dust, crushed pearl, star sand, and all that, and I'm gonna add it to a jar. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab that hologram. I can do this, strong enough. Hologram. This is all about even parts, 50, 50, 50, whatever. 25, 25, 25, whatever you want to call it. Equal parts. I tend to do most of my glitters equal parts. That way you don't have to think about it. Let's see if we got the mix we want. Ooh, I like. Okay, so let's add our clear. So I usually do about a three to one ratio. So we're gonna take a look at where we have it in the jar and I'm just gonna fill. about the first line with the clear. That should be just fine. Cap it, and let's roll it. So, how much would I charge for that? I already had the clears mixed. That's a standard on my wall. So that's $5, the silver's $5, and the hologram's $5. So if it's already on the wall and mixed, even though it has 27,000 different colors in it, it's still just $5. But if I mix it in front of you, each one that I pull is $5. So that would be an additional $15 to the set. Okay, let's make sure we like the mix. I'm just gonna pick it up. Ooh, I, I like that. Yeah, let's use that. Okay, so I'm gonna pick that up, get ourselves a nice pearl, and we're gonna place that down. Now some people, or sometimes I even, will do a free clear extension on the tip first, but just a speed technique is to go ahead and just extend with your glitter. Just lightly pulling it up the nail. Okay, let's get some more, let's finish it out. Everybody always comments that I miss the side and it's really the side the camera's on, so I can't see it too well, but I think I got it. You guys can see it better with that HD camera than I can. Add a little more glitter. Usually that first nail, you're kind of deciding how much glitter you want on it, how you want to pull it up, and then the rest just kind of flow. And I think I'm actually going to grab, even though this is straight glitter, I want a little more of that sparkle on top. So I'm just going to press it into the wet. Oh yeah. Yeah, that makes it bling. Pressing it into that wet acrylic. Cool. One more there and I kind of got my flow. So the next ones will go even easier. Okay. 
Now typically I like to go ahead and go onto the next nail and then I come back and cap. So I do one nail, extend it, do the next extension, come back and cap, and that gives you time for the glitter to set up so when you're capping it, it doesn't kind of move around and go into a spot you don't want it. But since we're not moving on, we'll just go ahead and cap. Grab our clear. Check my sides, make sure we're good. Okay, let's go ahead and cap. Grab a good size pearl. Kind of hold that finger down. Let it kind of flow. Lock it to the back. Lock it to the back. Holding that finger down is just letting gravity work for us. Pulling it away from the cuticle area. Pulling it away from the sidewalls. I hope my head's not in the way, but I'm gonna make sure I get that side. If not, guys, I'll grab it off camera when I can look really, really close at it. Add a little more to the free edge. Take a side view, see if we need to fill any. Okay, this is a longer nail, so we'll just make sure we have a nice upper arch. Cool. I think we got it. While that one's drying, let's move on to the gel. Okay, so we have already formed this nail that we're gonna do with gel. I think. I'm gonna show you a little combo action. So we're gonna base it first. That's the way nails are. There are days that I'll do it one way where I glitter press everything. There's days that I'll mix the glitter into the gel. It just depends on the mood. But at first, when you're first learning, learn one method. Don't confuse yourself. And then the rest will come, I promise. So we're gonna base first. Get our foundation layer on. Go ahead and cure that. And we're just gonna put it on the 30 second timer. Usually it's about 20 seconds. However long it takes you to do the rest of the hands. Okay, we're gonna pull it out. I'm gonna go ahead and take a tile. Let's grab our precision gel applicator and clear sculptor. We're gonna put some down on that tile. I always overdo it for one nail, but that's okay. And grab our mix. And I'm gonna go ahead and coat over the top of that pile of gel that we put down, completely covering it. And let's get it pushed into the gel and get it mixed. Greg say it's like jam on toast or butter on toast. <laughs> butter. It should be jam. I like frosting a cake. Ah. I like cakes. There you go. I like that. I okay. love cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's grab that. Let's grab our gel brush. And we're going to get our little extension going on. Put it down. Guide it down the center. Get our length going on. Guide it to the sides. Grab some more. You know what would have worked amazing for this? And I'm a complete idiot. The hollow glitter. Too. The hollow glitter. That would have made my life so much easier. That's okay. We want it to match the other one, so that's okay. So let's just get it out. Make sure we have enough. So we created that free edge. We're still gonna cap in our clear, so I'm not worried about the strength. I'm just worried about the look right now. Wipe my brush off on the tile, and then we're just gonna fade it up. I think 
like if I was doing this in salon, unless a client really needed this in acrylic, like they just weren't a gel user, I would probably do it in gel. I think the bling is probably gonna be a little more intense. Okay, let's freeze this. Okay, let's pull her out. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna grab that iridescent again, and we're just gonna hit it. We're just gonna use the raw glitter. I'm just going to add that little extra bling on top. Ooh. I should like these. Okay. Let's grab that clear applicator again. You know what I get, did guys, and I totally forgot. I forgot to put down pink, which I would typically do. Not necessary. Just a breeze is actually completely clear. I'm not going to worry about it that I missed that step. But you can add that pink in the background because again, if you're going to file down, the base coat that I put with the gel is actually going to act the same as putting that pink acrylic down that I did on this nail. Exact same thing. Okay, let's add. I'm gonna hold that finger down. Just start working it out. Holding that finger down again is gonna do the exact same thing it does with the acrylic. It's gonna kind of pull it away from that cuticle area, get it away from the sidewalls where you don't want it. Get it going in the right direction. Look at it from a side point of view. I know I'm not hitting that side too well. I will look at that when I can look at it closer and I'm, my head's not in the way on camera. Let's get this in the light. Let's freeze it. I'm gonna turn it on that low power function. I think we did it. There we go. And that way it doesn't heat her nail bed up. So with freezing, we don't have to have it in there very long. I used to do a coat and then I thought I had to cure everything for two minutes and then I would add more and cure it again for two minutes. If you're going to add, all you want is for the gel to set up so you can add more. You don't need to cure it all the way through. We're gonna do that at the very end. So I'm gonna take a look at the side point of view. I'm gonna fill in, make sure we have enough strength. Okay guys, I'm gonna put my head in the way for a second. I'm gonna grab my gel brush actually and make sure I get that little side corner so it's right up in there. Okay, I think I have enough product. Okay, so we got our extra on before. I could have done this prior to putting the gel on top so now hopefully I won't hit it. We're gonna remove that form. And the reason I like to do that is I like to make sure everything cures really well from top to bottom. Now, we can go ahead and get it in the light and cure it out for that minute. Okay, she's done. Let's pull her out. Let's grab our swipe again. I'm gonna grab a lint-free and we're gonna remove our inhibition, sticky, whatever you call it. We're gonna remove the stick from the top so we can file. Okay, remove the form on this one. We're gonna file and shape. I'm gonna finish out the rest of the nails and we'll get back to you with the final look. Okay guys, we have filed and shaped and cleansed and done all the above. We're gonna go ahead and protein bond. Remember, I go from like a 150 file cleansing into the protein bond. That way we don't get any chipping with our, um, with our top coat. If you smooth out the nail too much, you might get some chipping. It's like was one of the hardest habits for me to break. Like that, whole, I'm back from the generation where it was like buff, file, buff, lick, oil, buff. We don't have to do that anymore. Save so much time. 
we got our stain resistant top coat, which Steph has marked as a glitter one, which I love. Always keep them separate. And we'll get our top coat on. Ooh, it's blinging. Ooh, fancy. It's our acrylic. And the rest I did in gel. Just so if you're wondering like what I finished them out in, the gel was on the table and that's what they got finished out in. But like I said, I think I probably would have done this set uh, in gel anyway, even though our, really, our clear acrylic is super, super clear. Am I bending you the wrong way? Make sure we don't have any in the skin. Got a little furbs, furbies going on. There we go. Okay, let's get you in the light. We're gonna cure out for one minute. Let's pull her out. Let's grab our swipe and get that sticky layer again. Hydrate that skin. 